No man do they call me. My mother and my father and all my comrades as well. Uh, hey, everybody. We're going to be getting started on some Growing the Tribe. Uh, I'm going to give a second for everyone to start rolling in. I kind of started this a little bit later than I normally plan on it. Uh, i got some people watching. So one, two, people are starting to roll in. Uh, what's this? Hold on. i got to pop up. Got to get rid of that. No, I don't want to click on that. Um, are we playing a prequel? No, I just, I just, I just found the first little art thing of Snodius from the very beginning. I thought it'd be cool to. This is the twentieth session, and I thought having like uh, a using uh, a pick of little Snodius, uh, you know, reminder of, of how how uh, long it's how uh, far he's come, I guess. Uh, Pavel Marzek, are you late? Nope, you're on time. I've just started. I'm going to give people some time to roll in. I also need to get, I need to get my um, my dice. I still don't have that yet. Um, got the Golden Grunt. They got Shark Legion Kane. Timmy the Tech Priest is here. Uh, we will begin shortly. Uh, welcome, Mikel Lopez. Mikel Lopez. Welcome. All right, let me, you go, You guys, you know, people talk amongst yourselves, uh, discuss plans, because this is going to be a fairly dramatical uh, stream. Um, my dogs are very excited, because they know I'm excited, so they're, they're like, mashing up next to my legs and, like, wanting attention, of course. Uh, but let me go get my, I need to go get my dice. I forgot to grab those, so I'll be right, right back in one second. All right, we got a fair number of people now. We got 15. Make sure you guys are liking the stream as you come on. And we are going to get underway. Uh, we'll go. We'll uh, do a little bit of a recap. Catch people on up on what's been going on. Huh. We got two battles. Um, no, no, you guys. Well, you're sort of. We're going to be doing both battles because there are people up at Me Me Mega Humiopolis. Um, and you're also uh, getting a fight down towards Easton, which I made up the name. Might have had another name, but, you know, whatever. I decided to call it Easton. Okay, so um, we're going to – I'm going to give a brief overview of the rules for anybody who's new, though most of you are uh, veterans of this stream. Uh, the way this goes is this is a role-playing game where you guys control Snodius. Snodius used to be a little snotling um, with an affinity of picking his nose, and now he's a really big snotling with affinity for picking his nose. He is now running uh, what is fast becoming a war band. At the moment, you guys are still a bit small. You have uh, six orcs. You have a little, maybe like a dozen and a half grots, and then you have a, a crap ton of uh, snotlings that are kind of, uh, and squigs that are kind of running around. Um, so, uh, the way this works is uh, actions are determined by chat. Um, we're going to hold votes on what we're going to do, uh, what actions we want to take. Uh, take a look at what other people are doing, and if you see good ideas, make sure you are uh, agreeing with those ideas. I'm going to try to kind of eyeball the chat. Uh, we have been getting larger numbers, so it can be a little bit difficult for me to count. Um, yeah, Snotty's is pretty big. Let me see. I'm, I want to take. I want to see a look at the. Yeah, yeah. That's about as. Yeah, that's about Snotty's size. Um, Snotty's is 
at the moment, he is bigger than an average orc boy, and his next size, uh, his next size in, increase is he's going to be about knob sized, which is about eight feet. So he is currently somewhere between uh, six and eight feet tall, uh, probably closer to six at this point. But he's still the biggest out of any of the orcs that have popped up. Um, and yeah, so normally you guys will decide his actions with a vote. Everyone will will vote, and whatever majority says they want to do, that is going to be what happens. We will roll with our fancy pantsy dice to decide on what happens. I decided to go with a, a die that is a little, it just shows up a little bit better. I've been using an old lucky die of mine, but it's just, I've been using it for so long, all of the numbers are faded, and it just doesn't look good on stream. So I'm using a different one. Um, and uh, if you, so uh, if you guys, uh, if democracy is not your thing, you can donate and we will take whatever action you want to take. There are limits on um, actions and things like that. You can decide that Stadius does things. You can decide that uh, guys who work for Stadius do certain things. Uh, you can even add details that are not of super duper consequence, like, oh, there's, there's a stick here, or there's a, a tree that you can hide behind, or there's a big rock you can hide behind, or you know, whatever. But adding new story elements is uh, normally a no, unless I have an idea of what to do with it. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, please don't don't pay money to introduce story elements that I am not necessarily prepared to follow through on. Um, when you do donate, uh, I don't really like the idea of uh, pay to win of you give money and then Sadius like does a thing that automatically succeeds. I don't I'm not really comfortable with that. But I also don't want people to donate money and then because of a roll of the die, you know, it kind of feels like you, you, you'd waste your money. So if you do donate, I'm going to roll with advantage to accomplish whatever the thing is that you want to do. So if you're like, I want you to shoot him or I want you to chop him up or I want you to do this, um, I will give it a little bit of a bump, uh, but I don't like the idea of like, yeah, I want there to be value in, in, in the purchase, but I don't want to be too manipulative about that. I want to be transparent with you guys. I don't want to milk money from you guys. Um, I want us to have fun. That's what I want to do here. Um, and remember about the royalty battle music? Did you get your – did you, uh, you get ready – did your G, did you GM? Um, I can put pull up uh, royalty free battle music at some point. Unfortunately, I am not streaming. The, I was thinking of streaming this on um, using Streamlabs. Um, maybe I should have done that instead of just do the the feed. But whatever, it is what it is. All right, let's get. We're, we've gone over the rules. We've gone over what the situation is. Let's or I've gone over what the basic idea of the game is. Let us discuss the current situation, because pretty much all we're doing today is uh, our two battles. We have the Battle of Easton, in which Snodius is leading a band of orcs that have managed to... They all hid in a Humi truck, um, and they took one of their captive Humis to be one of the guys who uh, helps them sneak, in, uh, sneak into this other town. Um, and you guys succeeded in tricking the other humans to let you in, assuming this was some kind of shipment. Um, and we're going to have a fight there, uh, of the people who are there. We have, um, Snodius, of course, Orc Among Us, the Big Chef, and Dr. Krumpelstein. Among the Grots, we have Defurious, Red Shirt 5, Tree Climber, Double D, Snotbow, and Steve, um, and then we also have uh, then uh, on the attack of Mega Humiopolis, um, De Brain is is there. So is Two Heads, Oswald, Punch and Bag Two, Morpheus, Stress Ball, Crumplestein's Monster, Crumpy, and Freeloader. Those are all Grots. And then the Orcs that are there are Humius, Orpheus Two, and Noogie Boy. So they were they're in Mega they just they were in Mega Humiopolis while. Uh, 
because the, the two hubs of like activity are kind of uh, Snotantinople and Mega Humiopolis. So a lot of guys were just there when you were getting set up to attack Easton. So uh, the attack on Easton is happening, and there's a Humi attack coming against Snotantinople, um, which uh, basically is a chimera. Uh, rolling down the roads and, road and is coming to eliminate the threat, the orcish threat, because uh, Big Town knows you guys exist. Okay, so uh, I guess we go, get, go ahead and get started. Um, let us start. Um, hmm. It's funny. I like wrote out all of the all of the different things that are like factors, but I haven't written out like how exactly do I start this? Um, give me one second. I'm going to pull up some, some music. And I mean, get some uh, royalty free D and D fight music. Let's try this. All right. This will be fine. Um, Let's try this. This might be a little bit too. This might be a little bit too epic, but let me try this out. All right. Oh my goodness. We got. We got. Uh, hold on. Let me get stuff set up, and then I will deal with the donations coming up real quick. Uno momento. Uno momento. Let me just get through these ads to get to the music, and then I'm going to check the donations and. Um, and take care, y'all. Okay, so I have it. I have it queued up. I will start that when the fight actually starts. All right, we have Pavel Marzek. His donation says: Last order of Snotius before leaving was to prepare Humiopolis for a fight. As a result, most of the boys are there. Uh, trap is set to let Humies in. Um, I already I did shift over a lot of boys. Like basically, you're there are grots that are still other places, but they're kind of there to keep things running. Um, a lot of, I moved over a lot of orcs and grots. Um, all right, what we'll do, because basically they didn't know that they were coming until they were coming, essentially until they were spotted. Um, but yeah, let's see. That's their plan is they're going to let them in and, uh, attack them from there. So they're going to like, they're not going to fight them at the gate. They're going to let them come through the gate, which wouldn't stop. Uh, it's just a, it's just a fence. It's an electrified fence. It wouldn't stop an APC. Um, okay. So we're going to say they're, they're going to wait and try to ambush it. Um, roll for Gork and Mork to bless one battle. You choose how. Also, hey, no man, hey, little wands, the Night Lord. Thank you for the donation. All right, so the first one we're gonna have, we're gonna have everyone. Let's, uh, we're gonna pr so, uh, Snobius is like getting ready to leap out, and uh, Debrain is 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 working, like is like leaning over something that he's working on. You can see like the blowtorch, and it's like sparking and setting uh, as he as he like is working, and you hear like banging on things and uh, tightening bolts and all kinds of things, but you can't see what he's working on. Um, so both him and Snotties are going to like kind of pray at the same time uh, as Debrain hears, uh, he basically hears shouts from the other guys being like, we got Yumi's coming, we got Yumi's, Yumi's, Yumi's coming, they got the big truck. Come on, we got to get ready. Uh, and so they're all like running around getting stuff set up. Um, and uh, Snotius, on the other hand, is like, he, he's like laying in wait uh, as the truck pulls through the gate uh, and all of the orcs and uh, green skins and grots and, and the snotlings are getting ready to leap out. Uh, and they both kind of mutter a prayer uh, to Gork and Mork. All right, so I'm going to roll for Gork and Mork. So we're going to, uh, basically they're, they're not... They're just basically asking for blessings. They're like, all right, so I'm going to say, 
Let's see. Let's get the blessing from Gork. Uh, Gork approves, so we're gonna we're gonna I will I will determine what exactly happens. Then we're gonna get ask for blessing from Mork. Uh, Mork. Mork is okay with what's happening. I don't know if he gives. If he might. He might in in his subtle Morky way. He might. He'll give his blessing. Um, so all right. So we're gonna we're going to start. Uh, let's let's start with the blessing of Gork. So the so the the Greenskins are let in, um, and uh, the human is like pulling around to uh, kind of the center of town or not, not the center of town. There's like a, a, a um, there's essentially like an area to pull in and drop stuff off near the entrance um, to unload things. So uh, the truck kind of pulls around and like pulls back. Uh, and then the Humies go to open uh, the, the back of the truck and that's when all of the we're going to start, I think, with the attack on Easton. Um, and then we will I think we're going to do this separately. I, I sort of had the idea of going back and forth, but I think it's going to be too much for me to try to keep track of. Um, and let's go ahead and get some. Let's see if this is a, if this is appropriate music or if this is not appropriate music. But, you know, who knows? Oh. I probably shouldn't have my headphones in, and you guys should be able to hear this music, huh? Let me take off my headphones real quick. All right, here we go. Okay, I can deal. I can deal with that. So, like, snotty, say everybody, wah, wah, as they all kind of like surge out. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, just so I can hear and think. There we go. And they're and they're uh, they're all charging out and getting ready to to. Uh, uh, you guys do have a pain boy. He's he's not a he's not a full fledged pain boy yet, uh, but you do have Doctor Crumplestein who is going to become a a doc as he kind of uh, sorts himself out. He just hasn't been alive for very long to develop his dockiness. Um. All right, so. Basically, we're going to have who do we want. Let's get. I'm going to give the blessing of Gork is going to get uh, two attacks off because there are two Humies that are opening up the back of the gate uh, to open up the truck, and you guys are going to get like a surprise attack on each one of them. Snotties is going to go, um, uh, and then the question is, who do you want also to leap out and and crump somebody? Uh, we got Orc Among Us, Big, the Big Chef, and Dr. Krumpelstein. We also have De Furious, who wouldn't be the one leaping out because he's in the front. He's in the front with the uh, with the Humi. He's been um, in the footwell with a with a las gun pointed at the Humi who was acting as driver. Uh, we also have Red Shirt Five, Tree Climber, Double D, Snotbow, and Steve. So who is also leaping out and attacking the Humi uh, for? The big chef. Okay, it seems. Uh, well, we got got two for Orc Among Us. We got three for Big Chef. Well, Snotties is going to be one of them. That's that's my that's my vote. Uh, one vote for Orc Among Us. Two votes for Orc, Orc Among Us. Three votes for Orc Among Us. I think the Big Chef. All right, the Big Chef. I think the Big Chef ends up winning overall. We'll we'll have some cool stuff with Orc Among Us. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more heroic. Can I get, I'm going to see if I can get royal, ro royalty free orc music. Let me see if I can get some royalty free orc music. Uh, orc battle music. That sounds promising. Let's see how this sounds. This is awfully quiet. All right, we're getting there. I'm going to skip to the next one. This is quiet. There we go. I'll say that. If it gets loud, I'll turn it down. All right, so let's get started. 
Snotties is coming out. His chain chopper, his zappy chain chopper. And he just like comes in and just chops right into the human's chest, like sending blood spraying everywhere. It just. Um, and then we got the big chef who is an orc who has like a big chef's toque on his head, like big floppy uh, chef's hat. Uh, and he comes out like wielding a cleaver and ha and he has like a pot under the other shoulder. Uh, and he, he's like, he, like his whole thing is he like harvests uh, from his kills so he can cook. So he's going to attack the other Humi. Okay. Uh, that's an eight. So he like he like leaps out and swings at the other Humi, who like uh, just through sheer luck and like surprise and uh, fast twitch muscle reaction is able to duck the swing as he starts shouting out. It's like attack, run to attack, run to attack. All right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna roll to see who's going and. Uh, We'll see if the orcs are going first. We're just going to do all the orcs and greenskins together, and then um, we'll do the humies responding. Okay. Okay, the humies are able to kind of, They're not going to be doing much, but the, it's going to be... All right, I got a, a donation from Ed, Edward Rylands. One orc or grot shows to have a real talent in directing grots and snots in, in the right direction. Who are they? What did, what, uh, what did they direct the mob to do? Okay. Um, let's, let's put this, let's, we have a donation to have a thing happen, which I'm, I'm down to do. Um, the humans are basically, uh, they're basically going to, they, they won the role. So um, they're basically taking their turn to like uh, the one guy who uh, who ducked the uh, act the choppa swing is is going to uh, run over to uh, uh, to the sort of because the, there's kind of like a gate checkpoint he's going to like slam on this red button at near the entrance of the gate. Uh, and it's going to set up set up uh, off an alarm, and the gate is going to close so that the orcs are trapped inside. But that's it's just sort of the emergency protocols um, that the gate is shut. Uh, it's designed for animals, like when the different flora and fauna are dangerous. So the auto thing is that you set off the alarm and then it closes the gate. It's not necessarily helpful for him since the orcs are already in the gate, but that's just what happens. Um, so we have. Uh, let's discuss who we want to have uh, be the grot or orc who shows leadership capabilities. Uh, we have as options, uh, we have uh, Orc Among Us, the Big Chef, and Dr. Crumplestein. We got the Furious, Red Shirt 5, Tree Climber, Double D, Snotbow, and Steve. I would say that uh, Tree Climber and Snotbow are already leaders of some degree. Um Steve has also done a little bit of leading, um, so we ought to pick somebody else who is a kind who is going to sh prove themselves a kind of leader. Let's let's pick somebody, and then I think, depending on who it is, I think I'm going to come up with what they actually do, uh, since I know a little bit about their personalities. All right, so we got um, everyone's everyone's starting to vote. Steve, tree climber. Uh, I'm, I'm going to nix the guys who are already kind of leaders. Um, Steve, Tree Climber, the Furious. Oh, that's a little loud. That's what I was worried about, is like that these, these songs are going to be different volumes. Uh, Double D, Steve. Double D is the new leader. All right. So what Double D is... Okay, so we're voting on Double D. All right, Envoy Steel Git, thank you for the donation. So it'll be Double D, and what Double D does is he, like, kind of, he you see, like, uh, wah energy kind of coursing around him. He's still kind of coming into his own as a weird boy, 
but with the wall and like the the charge out of the uh, the uh, the truck, uh, he's like really really stoked, and he's like actually getting a decent amount of wall, uh, and uh, he kind of pumps up. Um, he basically pumps up a group of snotlings so that like the ones that are kind of near him, his squad of snotlings are just like super pumped up and they just like fling themselves at the, uh, they're going to fling themselves at the guy who hit the alarm. So we're going to roll for them. Okay. Uh, they're basically ferociously leaping at him, but they're also still snotlings. Um, his, his wall energy is to basically cause a berserk kind of rage. Um, and they, unfortunately, were not very effective because they're snotlings. Okay. Uh, so the Humies went... Uh, the Basically, the Humies are now prepared. They're going to be able to fight next turn. Um, we got a bunch of guys to go to do stuff. Um, so we have, uh, let's, let's, I'm just going to go straight through. Uh, we got Orc Among Us, and the only guy who's around at the moment, uh, we have two humans. Uh, one is a, the human who hit the alarm. Uh, the other is the human at the gate, uh, who like bent down in his little booth. Like he like ducked down in his booth. Um, uh, and yeah, those are the two humans. Let's start off with Orc Among Us. What is Orc Among Us doing? What do we got? Let me close some of these windows I'm not using. Uh, Orc Among Us is charged. Choppa. Orc Among Us is going to attack the gate guy. We got charge. We got to decide your target. We got two humies, the guy who set the alarm and the guy who's at the gate. I got a couple people saying the gate, the guy at the gate. One person saying attacks the humie in sight. So he's the guy who hit the alarm. We're kind of split between the alarm guy and the gate guy, but I think the gate is... Okay, I think gate is winning. I think gate is winning. So Orc Among Us is going to leap out and he is he's like a he's like a very broad orc like he's he's big he's not real tall he's like he's like really stocky and like wide uh very strong and he has like a big uh ball and chain it's basically one of the uh one of the like parts that were like completely scrapped and not very useful uh like almost like an engine block uh he tied to a chain and like swings it around so he's going to like swing that and like try to smash it through uh, the gate and attack the Humi that's in there. Uh, that's a five. So he like he like swings it and it smashes through the, the the glass of the booth, but he doesn't have the angle and it doesn't swing down all the way and like uh, catch the Humi that's down there. Uh, so you hear like a shout of like surprise. Um, it's, it's basically a flail, but he's like swinging around a piece of, of junk. <laughs> it's like a big, heavy piece of junk. It is on a chain. He, he's like, well, he's swinging, he's mostly, he's not really, yeah, he's swinging a thing that's on a chain. That's what he's doing. Junk flail. All right. Next guy we have up, uh, we have... Uh, we got the big chef, the big chef's turn. Uh, he's, he was the one, he was, he was, he missed the alarm guy. Do we want him to go after the alarm guy? That's who he was fighting. Alarm guy. Okay. Come here, you. You look like it's some good eating. I need me some of you, me ta ta. So here we go. 
All right. And and the uh, big chef basically just uh, with like he's the, the alarm guys kind of backed up against the wall and the big chef just uh, hacks through this chops at his neck, severs the guy like straight through uh, and the head like tumbles off and into the and into the chef's pot. And he's like, who wants some yumi and stew? Uh, and, and he's like, he's like, and all the other or of the orcs and grots like, bah, bah, bah. so that guy's dead. Um, uh, then who else we got? Uh, we still have the guy in the uh, in the uh, uh, the booth. You don't see the other humies yet. Um, we now have uh snottius you want snottius to go after the guy in the uh in the booth i assume so uh so what you guys see as you're starting as you're kind of coming out so we're gonna we're gonna have snottius roll to try to kill the guy in the booth um snottius like runs over uh and and it is the pr it is the problem of being in the booth uh, so, like, Snodius can't quite get at the guy. Um, he, like, ends up, he, like, is pulling the, the flail out and is, like, tearing it away at the booth itself to try to get at the guy. Uh, but he can't get a good swing in. The guy's, like, just in a, it's just an odd, uh, it is just an odd sort of, uh, Gork's blessing already happened. You guys got... That was what gave you the the surprise that you were able to uh, get attacks off the second you came out. That was kind of Gork's blessing. Um, you you guys, this this is not the the. I'm less worried about this fight than the one you guys had. But one of the things you can notice is uh, inside the town, it is a little. It's similarly set up to. Um, Mega Humiopolis, except instead of um, a bunch of towers kind of around the perimeter, uh, there is one really tall tower in the center of town. So you don't have a whole bunch of snipers uh, or guys that are up in up in the tower. Uh, you have one dude. Uh, Mork's blessing, I will deal with. It, it'll it'll happen. Just you guys got to trust me. Um, I mean, I could use the other thing is I could use it now. If you want me to be like, if you're like, I want to spend Gork's Gork's blessing now, I'll, I'll re-roll if you want. If you want Snotties to kill this guy, but then the then the blessing's used up. Save it. I'll let I'll let the blessings be a re-roll that you guys choose. Okay, so all right, not yet. Cool. Uh, so Sn Snotties misses. Next guy to go. Uh, is Dr. Krumpelstein, uh, is Dr. Krumpelstein going to try to, going to try to go get the booth guy? Uh, gate guy's dead. The alarm guy's dead. Oh yeah, the gate guy is the booth guy. He is the booth guy. Um, uh, the doc, I'm going to say he's armed with like a buzzsaw uh, that he has attached to like his arm. He doesn't have like his arm, his arm cut off. He basically has like a glove that he puts his hand into, and then he like he, when he pulls, it revs up the the buzz saw, and that's like his melee weapon. So he's gonna try to he's gonna try to uh, get in. Hopefully, he's not blocked by Snodius and uh, um, and who else, the other orc that's over there, um, uh, orc among us. Okay, so. Doppel, Dr. Krumpelstein, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to Edward Ryland's donation in a second. So Dr. Krumpelstein, like, he's like, out of the way! Oh, needs to off right! Off right! So he, like, he, like, shoves the other guys away and, like, just dives into the booth, and you just hear, like, Aah! and, like, you just see, like, blood spraying up from, from, uh, Somewhere below the booth, you can't see what's happening. <laughs> so many good specimens. All right, so then Edward Ryland's uh, the Grots minus double D scatter throughout. Uh, they're not running; they're forming 
loose, very loose and spreading out the firing, uh, spread out the firing group. All right, so basically they're moving out. They're not all clumping together, and they're looking for targets. Um, you, they kind of see Humies uh, moving around, but most of the Humies look like they're already in inside of buildings. Um, you see a couple of, like, uh, uh, barns and, like, workshops kind of closing up. Like, you see garage doors, like, shutting and things like that. So you can see a couple areas where humans are hiding. Um, so the, they're not going to get taken out with, like, grenades or anything like that. All right. So we have... Um, so there's they're, they're going to be targets that make themselves apparent shortly. I'm going to have the Humies go, and then we'll have the Grots go, because we have the Furious, Red Shirt 5, uh, Tree Climber, Snotbow, and Steve. Um, we also have a bunch of uh, Snotlings who are kind of like ablative armor. They take hits instead of you guys. Sometimes. They don't always. They're not guaranteed that you're not going to get hit. All right, so especially because most of these Grots and Orcs are very big, and Snotlings don't provide much cover. Um so we have a shot. Basically, there is a Humi in the tower uh, that is taking very careful aim, uh, and he's going to shoot. That is a crit 20. Okay, and so he just crit somebody. Let's find out who he crit. All right. Um, all right. Okay. See, let me let me let me count this up again. One, two, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, All right. So this guy uh, lines up his shot and. Uh, the thing that he's most easily able to see uh, is he sees the WA glowing around double D um, as there's kind of a bunch of bodies of orcs, and he takes careful aim and he pulls the trigger, and uh, double D just <clears throat> is it's boom headshot. Uh, there's basically like a dispersion of WA energy, uh, so like whereas the uh, the snotlings were all kind of like berserk. Uh, that kind of gets dispersed. All of that gathered wa energy in uh, in Devil D just goes, and like all of you are kind of like. Aah! Um, I'm going to. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, he just he just got blown away. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll. Basically, it's going to require a miracle. Doctor Crumplestein's gonna need to roll a twenty because only a twenty can cancel out a twenty. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if there's a miracle or something crazy happening. No, no, they say no. I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. So the tower is in the center of town. Uh, why energy doesn't really affect humies? They kind of get scared by it, um, I guess. Like it's it's a it's a hit to morale. And now he died. He he he's dead. Um, so you guys like are charging out. Uh, you're now starting to get uh humies uh with shotguns appearing in windows. Uh, so there are now more targets coming out. Um, uh, you're basically going from like. Uh, you have a, a number of different buildings, and yeah, you basically have Humies and shotguns uh, taking pot shots through windows. Send Snotbow for the sniper. Snotbow, I just want to make sure Snotbow is with this group. Yes, he is. All right, so Snotbow's going to start stealthing. But let's have Snotbow stealth. Okay, he, he has advantage. So he's got a 17, and we're going to roll for the Humies to spot him. All right, Snotbow in the confusion basically slips away. Um, 
and he's making his way towards the, the sniper tower. Um, so we'll do that. Thank you, Edwin Marin Castro. Um, and we have a lot of people. We've got 37 people so far. Uh, that's a lot. That's one of the bigger bigger games we've had. Uh, then we are going to have uh, the other Grots take their actions. We have uh, Defurious. Uh, let's go with Defurious. He is currently in the truck. Um, everyone has been disembarked. What do you want Defurious to do? He also has a Humi that is that was a captive uh, that was from Mega Humiopolis. Uh, you have a couple options. Uh, you can like try to force the the other like you can start trying to drive the truck. Um, you kind of got to get the Humi somewhere. Uh, there's also the option of just killing the Humi now that he's done what you want him to do. He could cause problems if he tries to disrupt the raid. Uh, he might try to escape. Uh, you guys can decide what you want Defurious to do. Uh, Wah, get someone up there. Wah. All right. Thank you, little Wands, the Night Lord. We have uh, Snotbow on the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got some saying, let's decide what we're doing with the Humi first. Kick the Humi... Uh, Outshot from the window. Drive like a mad lad. Road rampage. Kick the Humi out and drive. I think that seems to be. Kick him out. Do we kick kick him out? Yeah, you can ride without the Humi. You guys have. Mo he was actually the one driving. Uh, Defurious was the one driving. The Humi was just posing as the driver when it came up. At, when it when you guys rolled up. It's been modified for, so he can reach the pedals. I think people are saying kick, uh, kick him out. They're not saying kill him. They're saying kick him out. Um, uh, he might make a nuisance of himself, but you know he hasn't so far. Uh, uh, right, Yumi. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for sh uh, fooling him. Now get out uh, and he and uh, find some cover. Wait till this all blows over. And basically, uh, Defurious kicks him out with his with his prosthetic leg, with his like metal prosthetic leg, and he like he kicks him out, uh, takes a seat in the in the in the uh, the truck, and just goes, pur, pur. "Come on, boys, let's get rolling!" Wah! And he like and like uh, guns the engine and and just is going to uh, try to crash into the nearest building. Uh, where uh, shotgun shots are coming from. Um, so he smashes into a building, uh, and it doesn't quite give enough. He doesn't get quite enough speed, uh, and the building is fairly sturdily uh, constructed. So he doesn't uh, break through, and he's also, like, right in... He is in trouble of being shot at because he cracked, because he... Uh, smash into it. Do you want to use the? Do you want to use the? Uh, uh, do you want to use advantage on driving? We can use the blessing. We can re-roll it. You guys want to do that? Do you guys want to re-roll that charge? I got a yes. Yep. I'm gonna give it a, a, a couple yeses. I got two no's. Most people are saying yes. Okay, this will be the 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 blessing of Gork then. Okay. We'll do the Blessing of Gork and get the re-roll on that. Uh, that's 10. I hate 10. 10 is my least, least favorite number. Uh, be definitive. This is the Blessing of Gork. Either yes or no. Give us a bad roll or give us a good roll. That's a 16. Uh, it's like 10 I don't like. It's like 10 is so... I hate missing on a 10 because it doesn't like... I'm going to just say 10 is a re-roll. Uh, above a 10, yeah. 10 itself is like so lame. All right, so 16, that will crush the human. It'll basically smash. Uh, there's just a little bit more gork energy in that, and the engine gives a little bit more power and <laughs> smashes into it. So you guys got uh, three dead humies so far. Um, Snotbo is working his way towards the tower, uh, stealthing. Um, we still got we st still got the... Uh, so now we have uh, Red Shirt 5. He's up. What do we want Red Shirt 5 doing? What 
what do we want red shirt five doing uh he's we've got we basically got human we got the Humi in the tower he's going to take some time to get to and he's the hardest to shoot from the base level um and red shirt five is, is armed with a las gun Uh, that's that's a. I think we've already moved a little bit past double D. As much as as much as it's cool to kind of build your own characters, part of this game is that guys die. Um. Okay, so so is red shirt should draw attention. All right, we'll we'll have red shirt basically like make himself very visible, and he'll go and he'll take shots at the humies in the. Uh, uh, so basically, he's going to draw fire until he dies for the next, for the next uh, when the Humies go on their turn. But he's going to take a shot at one of the guys in the windows. Uh, he is sp sp spending more time uh, being a distraction than he is aiming. Um, somewhere in Snotantinople, the weird boy essence of Double D goes into another, a body of another Snotling broader orc. You're choosing no man. We'll have another weird boy. There will be another weird boy. Uh, let me just write that down as a, as a thing to remember. Let me put that in bold. Make another weird boy. Another weird boy will pop up when uh, the next round of guys popping up. All right. So I have that written down. Um, red shirt five is being red shirt. I think that's appropriate that he's... He is following in the proud tradition of... All right, so now we have a uh, tree climber. Uh, Snotbow already went. He is basically stealthing and moving towards the uh, uh, the tower. Um, now we have tree climber, and then we have Steve. And then that'll be all of the orcs, all the green skins. Do you want to try to climb into a building to fight? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's having fun so far. I'm going to sip my drink while we're deciding what you guys want. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got we, we do have the Burnasnots, who is Snore Sleepa and... Snore Sleepa and Soggy. They're the they're the Burnus Knots. We'll get them too. And then we have Pog Chomp. We got a roll for as well. Um, Pog Chomp probably isn't going to be able to reach one of the Humies this turn. He can kind of run around and try to catch people that are out. Most of the humans are not out right now. Um, uh, I'm going to say Tree Climber climbs something and uses a help action. Okay, so what I think Tree Climb is going to do is he's going to provide cover. For, he's going to climb up onto the build. He's going to get on top of the building uh, that is right. That is basically the unloading area near the gate, and he's going to climb up on top um, and provide covering fire to try to keep the Humi's heads down. Uh, so he's going. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of use that like a blessing, like a blessing. Uh, we can choose a Humi that uh, has to roll at disadvantage uh, because of the cover fire. All right. So next, so that'll be that'll be his turn. Um, next, we're going to we have uh, we now have Steve. What is Steve doing? Steve is a commando also, and he has he has a bit of a redemption to do because he got. He he got uh, he got some of his boys caught. So what is what do we want uh, Steve doing? We want him sneaking too. Um, he can try to. He's going to have a hard time sneaking and getting into the buildings, uh, but maybe there's some stuff he can do. Do you want him to stealth and try to find ways into the the buildings? All right, Steve is going to lead. Yeah, Steve is going to try to sneak uh, into the houses and yeah, have the burners follow him. I like I like that idea.
Redshirt is already acting as a distraction. He's going to be the one who's get, getting shot at right now because he's not in cover. Everyone else is kind of running around and is a little bit more in cover. Even the orcs are kind of around buildings. They're a little harder to shoot. All right, so so I think that's going to be an interesting plan. I like that idea that Steve, Steve is going to try to basically uh, pick locks, and I think we got the orc battles is done. No, we still have orc battles. We're going to have plenty of stuff. Uh, and then he's going to get the doors open, and then the burn of snots are going to uh, snore sleeper, uh, and Soggy will open up on them. All right. Uh, so that so that's going to be. Let's see if he can get a, a door open. He's going to. I'm going to have him stealth. So he successfully stealths. Let's have him pick a lock. He 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 successfully stealths. He su successfully uh, picks the lock, and then let's get the burner boys. Um, it when it comes to burners, a mediocre roll doesn't mean a miss. Uh, basically, they don't immediately fry a human, but they get a door open, and that building is now on fire. Uh, there are two humies in this particular building, um, and the snot, they're going to keep laying stuff down, so they're going to be in trouble. They're going to either have they're going to have to flee, um, and the the exit is blocked because that's where the fire is. So they're going to have to like either try to stay in there for as long as they can, taking shots, or they're eventually going to have to flee with, because the fire is going to start uh, catching up with them. All right. So that is it for uh, – we have Pog Chomp then. Uh, I, he, he's going to run out. Uh, he's basically just going to look for guys to, to get at. Um, let's see if the Humies panic and try to flee. Uh, and climb out of the windows with the fire. And then if they do, Pog Chomp and the, and the Squigs will have targets. Okay. Um, it's not enough. They don't flee. They're not... They're, they, they're, they haven't fleed yet. They're still... So they haven't panicked. Um, uh, so Pog Chomp and company are kind of spreading out and, like, look... Basically, anytime a Humi is going to flee... Uh, they're going to get them when they're out in the open. I think that's what we're, what's going to happen. And we mostly have just attack squigs. Um, I suppose we could have squig arlicus too, who's a squig hound, but you guys aren't really tracking anything at the moment. Squig arlicus can fight, but he's not the same as an attack squig. Uh, the, this tower is, is a fairly nice tower. They only have one, and it's kind of like it, it, it like it is a tower that also seems to double as like a communications tower, so it's fairly firmly built. No, no, it, the, the the tower is fairly well built. The four instead of having uh, four towers with gut with so uh, this is Edward Ryland's fault because he speak of the devil and he shall appear uh, because he donated a thing that said that the uh, place has a big uh, defensive disadvantage and a big advantage, and I get to decide what they are. And I said, well, this one doesn't have four towers with guys in it. It has one tower in it, but it is one guy that can really shoot. You basically have one guy with a sniper as opposed to four guys that are just kind of guards. And it's a much nicer tower. All right, so Edward Ryland says, while rummaging through the burning building, Steve finds a mundane but interesting thing. They decide to nick. What is it? How does it make Steve more distinctive than the other Grots? Um, what cool thing would he find? Um, I, I like the idea of Steve gets a hat. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, I want I want Steve to get a an officer's hat. I want Steve to wear a bicorn. I want him to wear a bicorn. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think commissar hat because th this. This area is kind of like 19th century officer uh, is, is kind of the, the thing. I like the I like the bicorn idea. All right, Steve finds a bicorn and now has a cool guy hat. Um, he calls it his sneaking hat, which because he believes it makes him sneakier, must make him sneakier. A uh, little little charred, but uh, it was like I don't know the way it was stored. It was not burned up, so he has a fancy hat now. All right, so that is going to be that. Now it is the Humi's turn. 
Uh, we got a bunch of guys. Uh, fortunately, you guys killed a number of people. Um, we got three dead. We got six that have shotguns that are going to take pot shots. All right, one. All right, that's going to be a hit. Do we want to use um, Do we want to use the cover fire to make that a disadvantage? Do we want to put that at disadvantage? Nope. Okay, let's find out. Uh, we got one for yes. Save it for crit. Who are they shooting at? Uh, we can see. Well, let's see who they're shooting at. I, I think that's fair. Let's find out who they're shooting at. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there's a guy with the. This is this is the guy in the uh, burning house. He's trying to shoot Steve, uh, and he will succeed in shooting Steve. He will shoot Steve if if it is not re-rolled. You want to re-roll? I think that makes sense because it would it would be uh, yeah I think that makes sense. Tree climber is basically fire is is firing cover fire, and the guy's kind of like trying to duck away while also avoiding fire. So it's going to be a disadvantage, which unfortunately is still seventeen. Steve's going to get shot. Um, I'm going to give him. A chance. Uh, he actually has a decent chance for it not to be him, uh, but it might be that the burn a gr burn a snots get exploded. Okay. Uh, I think I, so. I what's going to happen is the burners are going to ex get exploded, and Steve is going to be blasted back by the explosion. But it causes the whole the whole place to like go up in really big big flames. Steve is not dead, but I'm gonna see. Okay, Steve is like, uh, he's kind of singed. He is now kind. He, he's a little burned. He's a little singed. His new hat smoking a little bit. Uh, but that's gonna be that's gonna be the burn of snots. That's gonna be uh, snore sleeper, and uh, and soggy are gone. Uh, let's see if the humies are able to. Are they engulfed by the fire? Yeah, I'm gonna say those two humies though are are gonna be consumed by the fire. So you guys have now killed five humies. Um, uh, so the next guy was the other guy in the building. He's not going to take his shot. Steve's going to be out of for the next round because he kind of got exploded. But he's he's a little shook. But he's not going to he's not dead. Um, is the music stopped? Oh, this is oh it is music. Okay, we do have music going. It's just kind of stomping sounds. All right, so. We are going to have uh, humies are going to do they want to, who they going to attack? Uh, well, we'll take a look. We'll see who. Well, one humi with a shotgun just rolled a twenty. Who are they hitting? Uh, this one is going to hit Orcamungus. He got critted. Uh, but he is an orc, so he's a lot tougher. Uh, an orc among us is like this big, thick guy. Um, so he is like he like gets his his uh, his chain and ball like out of the booth, um, and it's like like oh no, I said that no, it's not because it's red shirt, red shirt five. Uh, he's he's going to get shot because he's the distraction. Uh, he got obliterated. Red shirt five is dead. There is no no red shirt five died. We still also have a a, a reroll for the blessing of Mork for people. You know red shirt red shirt five was being a distraction. So we're gonna need red shirt six coming up. We got one call for the reroll of the for the blessing of Mork, but this was kind of the purpose of. 
Remember to make an embarrassing statue of redshirt. I think we're going to have a monument dedicated to the line of red shirts of like how they all died. I need to go back and like remember how they all died, but uh, no reroll. Red shirt. It, it was red shirts five destiny. Uh, better for him to die than for an orc to take a crit. Though he he potentially could have survived it. All right, so we got two more Humies get to shoot. They're shooting really well. That's a 15. Um, let's see who they're hitting. Uh, 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Uh, this one will be aimed at Dr. Krumpelstein. Uh, it is not a crit, and he's an orc, so it won't. it probably won't kill him. Um, so there's a... <laughs> And Dr. Krumpelstein, like, uh, takes it to, like, one of his shoulders. And it's, like, it's pocked with, like, uh, buckshot. And he kind of, uh, he kind of fall, he kind of, like, staggers. Uh, but he, uh, and Krumpelstein was in the booth. So, basically, he, like, stands up. Uh, does he get cover bonus? Yeah, let's do it for cover. No, he still gets hit. That's still good enough to hit. These guys are shooting really well. Uh, he's blasted, but he's not. Uh, he takes it to the shoulder, and he's like, huh. "I'm pain. I can feel pain. That means I need to be fixed. I always wanted to operate on myself." Um, yeah. Let's see if he can. Can he patch himself up? He's a doc. Uh, he has a chance to shrug off injury. Uh, yeah. He basically kind of mitigates the wound. He, like, pops open uh, – he's going to – it'll be his next turn, uh, which will – which will be – I'm going to have him go ahead and take his turn now. He's basically going to uh, pick up a weird substance that's, like, on his utility belt, essentially his dock belt, uh, pull out the cork with his teeth, and then, like, sprinkle the weird stuff onto – like, it's like a weird thick paste that he, like, dumps on – a gloppy, like, goo liquid paste sort of thing that he puts on the wound, and it starts to close up. So he's he's going to be good for for his his wound is going to be mitigated on account of being a doc, and, but that's going to be his turn. Um, uh, so that'll be his turn for next time. Then we have one more shot. We still have orc music playing. Just hard to just hard to hear. Some of this music is like really quiet, and some of it's really loud. I wish it was a little bit more even. But when getting random worlds free music, you get what you get. All right, so um, last shotgun guy. Jeez, these humies are really, really shooting well. Uh, let's see who gets hit. Um, let's take a look. Uh, Dr. Krumpelstein's getting shot again. Uh, but he's, he, he basic, uh, he, ba so basically he like gets shot in one shoulder, goes, oh, I get to fix myself. <laughs> Just what the doc ordered. And then he gets shot in the other shoulder. He's like, oh, come on. He's not dead, but he's, he's rewounded. And now we got, we got the, uh. They're rolling really well. well. We got the the cover again. Yeah, let's give the cover. No, these humies are rolling stupid good. They still hit them. Um, and then uh, we're gonna have the sniper guy. The sniper guy rolls with advantage. She doesn't need to. That's nineteen. Still, just to make sure it wasn't a twenty. And he's gonna take his shot. For uh, Snotius himself, he recognizes that Snotius himself is uh, is the main guy. It was not a crit, and he is firing a long las, so it's uh, it's it's damage. Snotius is going to be damaged, uh, but uh, basically the guy takes careful aim, points at Snotius, <clears throat> and <clears throat> like just impact on Snotius himself, uh, hit directly in the chest. Um, nasty scorch mark on Snotty's armor. 
Snodis is pretty tough. He can take some hits, um, but he. All right. If he if he crits Snodis, he might be able to kill him. He'd have to like. He'd have to get lucky, um, which might be why you hold on to that re-roll of, of Mork. Um, so now, uh, with the Humies all gone, it is now back to the top of the order. We got... Um, so Snotbow reaches the uh, the base of the, uh, the tower and is starting to climb. So I'm going to have him re-roll... Uh, to try to sneak up the sneak quietly up the uh, the ladder. Uh, that is a that is a critical failure to be quiet. So uh, we can reroll, or the sniper is going to realize that Snotbow's coming. Oh no, Snotbow has Snotbow has advantage on sneak. Snotbow has advantage on sneak. Uh, two. Okay. Uh, this die is not is not orc friendly. Um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So Snotbow is going to make noise and be spotted. Um, yeah, he's definitely spotted as of now. Are we re-rolling to see if he gets... Um, people are saying mostly no re-roll. Maybe you guys need to pray to the dice gods. Maybe your faith is weak. <laughs> uh, I think people are saying mostly no. Re I think there's more no re-roll than there is re-roll. I mean, he's just being caught, like, no re-roll. We need green dice. Do you guys want, I can go, I have green dice. I can see if I can get the green dice. Give me a second. I have green dice. I just need to get them out. They're just buried in the depths of my of my dice bag. I just wanted something that was a little easier to read. Are my green dice not in here? I don't want to go on a scavenger hunt for my green dice. If they're not here, then they're not here. They're somewhere. But I think they are in here. They should be. I don't know why they'd be anywhere else. Um... I don't see my green dice. Um, I got purple dice and I got blue dice. So I got sneaky dice and I got I got uh, lucky dice. I don't have any. I don't have any uh, green dice. I don't know what happened to my green dice. Sorry, we had we had uh, friends come over and their kids were very interested in my dice. So my green die might be under the couch somewhere, but I'm not gonna go. I can't go look for it. Uh, I don't have any red dice either. Yeah, I'm missing some d20s. I think I think small children got a hold of my d20s in there somewhere. So I will need to go look for those at some point. Um, all right, we'll do lucky dice then for blue in the future. Um, but let's get to let's get back to where we were. Uh, yeah, so Snotbow is climbing, but he's been spotted. Uh, do we want Snotbow to try to get up there anyway? Uh, he hasn't been very good in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, go anyway. I just want to... He, he can go ahead and try to get up there anyway. He's going to have to uh, deal with a shot at least. Yeah, Snapo can shoot. He usually doesn't like to. He used to look, prefers to stab. He can shoot or he can climb. That's kind of what he's going to do anyway. He's going to be at disadvantage shooting up though, because he's at the base of a tower, and he doesn't have good he doesn't have a good angle on the sniper. Because the basically what he would have to do is the sniper looks out and sees him after he made noise, and then he'd have to shoot him. I think people are saying. I think people are saying to uh, to have him just climb. 
All right, he's he's gonna climb. He's gonna climb on his turn and try to get up and disrupt the uh, uh, the sniper. Uh, next guy's turn is going to be um, uh, Orcamungus. It's Orcamungus's turn. Uh, he's been shot once, I believe. No, no, he was not shot. That was uh, Red Shirt Five took a shot for him. So Orcamungus is healthy. Um, Orcamungus is is armed with a uh, a shooter. I'm going to say the orcs have shooters. You guys have basic shooters at this point. And I'll say the orcs have them. Uh, he also has his big wrecking ball. So what's the call for Orcamungus? Snotbo survives the attempt on his life by employing a dirty trick. Uh, somebody banned that, the spam bot. Much appreciate. Uh, can I get can I get some props to our wrenches? All right, so Snotbo will will do a, a sneaky thing. Uh, so Snotbo on his next turn, when he's being shot at, will do something sneaky. I got an idea. I got an idea for snot for snot though. Um, I got an idea for what he's doing. But right now we're doing Orc Among Us. Uh, we got we got Humies inside. We basically have four more Humies fighting from inside of uh, four armed Humies fighting from inside of buildings. Um, one building's on fire. Those Humies are are. Are they dead? Did they die? No, they did. Uh, we, I just know we have four humies left. I think the ones that were in the in the fire died. Yeah, they died because the thing exploded. Yeah, I, I got Yeah, they died. Um, smash into a building. I, I dig that. I, I, I dig trying to smash through one of the buildings because it might be not a very sturdy building. All right, so we're going to try to smash in the building. We're going to use the lucky die this time. Let's try to do... All right, so Orc Among Us basically is swinging his, his like, big chain and junk flail and, like, swings it at one of the windows where the guy is. Uh, he's got a little bit of protection. He's going to smash the building. Let's see if he manages to catch the guy. Uh, Ten is dumb. No tens. Ten is dumb. No tens. Give me a choice. Okay. So Orcamungus is going to swing his uh, his ball and chain and manage to catch the Humi that's in there. He basically smashes open the front of it to like uh, it's just like it's like a shed. It's like uh, it's, so it's not super sturdy. He like rips it open and he also manages to catch the Humi that's in there. Um, so there's also another Humi inside of that building. Uh, so that's Orc Among Us. That's another guy dead. Um, next person to go is the Big Chef. Uh, do you want the Big Chef to go in and try to get the other guy that's in that building? Because then there's there's basically just a sniper and then a building with two other Humies in it. And we're... Okay, Chef, go get him. All right. Soap's on. Soap's on. Hume had soup. So he's going to charge into the big hole that Orc Among Us made, and he's going to try to kill the other Hume. Uh, unfortunately, it's a six. So he just, he's not, it's just uh, with Orc Among Us, like, breaking it open, it's a little bit of a slow going for uh, the chef to climb in. So he's in, but he wasn't able to, like, get a nice, uh, He's get a nice chop in. It just wasn't the good a good angle for it, so he wasn't able to do it. Um, next up is uh, Snottius himself. Uh, do we want Snottius going in after that guy, or do we want him trying to crack open a different uh, a different building? This is another building with two more Humies in it with shotguns. What do you want to do? Open different building? All right. Is is uh, he just smashing into it? He's going to attack a window. 
Okay, different building. I'll attack. Let's see how good he rolls. 11. I'll take an 11. So he manages to smash. Uh, he manages. He does manage to smash it up. Let's see if it's. We'll do disadvantage for hitting the guy. Also 11. Okay, uh, Snotties is just edging it out. I'm going to say he doesn't kill this guy, but he does wound him. He, t he like, swings his, cha his chain chopper and just, like, and, like, carves out a... Uh, I, I know what I'm going to do. He's not going to kill the Humi, but he kind of does the cartoon thing of, like, he just cuts, like, a, a perfect circle out of the wall, and then the wall just falls back and, like, pins the human underneath it. So he's wounded, but he's not... Uh, so he's, like, he got the thing falls on him, so he's disrupted, uh, but he's not dead. I, I think I like that idea. Um, next up is... Then we have um, Doctor Crumplestein, who's been injured. Um, he could take. Oh, he already no. He already took his turn because I said he was going to take his turn healing himself. So he's wounded. He he got wounded twice. He uh, but he healed one of his wounds. Um, next up is Defurious. We got we got a truck. Um, he could try to ram. Uh, he's got a couple things he could ram. Uh, one is the building that still has a Humi in it. Uh, he could, if he's not careful, hit Snotius. If he rolls poorly, he could hit Snotius. And the other thing he could run into is he could try to smash into the tower. Uh, but Snotbo is climbing the tower currently. So what do you guys want to do? Uh, ram the tower? Snotbo is climbing the tower. That is what he spent his round his round doing. Horn to distract the sniper. Uh, I don't think it's going to distract the sniper. The the guy saw he basically uh, uh, Snotbo slipped and made noise trying to climb up the the. Uh, the ladder. It's just really bad luck. Oh, he will. He can honk the horn. That's a free action. He can just honk it. That's fine. Um, but I think most people are saying people are saying the tower. A couple of people are saying the, not the ta two people are saying not the tower. I've seen a couple of people are saying uh, no. There's houses, houses. I think I think it is currently. I think people are saying the houses uh, are slightly ahead. So he's going to try to smash the other guy in the house uh, for a five. Um, he has he basically needs to pull himself out of the one house that he was in, uh, and he wasn't able to – he doesn't have the speed or the angle. Like, he basically isn't able to do much. He has to – he's going to keep backing up because he needs to get up speed enough. Uh, the buildings are just too close together, and he's kind of like – it's just a funny angle, so we can't quite get it off. I'll say we'll do that. Um, next person's turn. Uh, Defurious went. Um, now we have Tree Climber, who's up on... He is up on the uh, the house. Uh, he could shoot at the sniper. It would be at disadvantage. It's still far away, and in the, in the sniper has cover. Um, or he can try to shoot at the guys that are fighting in the windows... Um, but it's up to you guys what you want to do. He ha he's, he's been providing covering fire. He could try to shoot the sniper, or he could try to suppress the sniper, which would, which would basically make him lose the advantage on, being sh on shooting. Well, the sniper's been shooting at advantage because he's highly, highly trained. The sniper is, a, is he's good. He's good. We can. Uh, some people are saying windows, cover fire on the sniper. I think suppress is slightly winning, so he's gonna he's gonna basically shoot at the. He's gonna he's gonna put yeah he'll put his um his uh, las gun on full auto and start covering and start in, in bursts and start in burst fire on the sniper to keep his head down. So he has to, like, make his shot and make it quick. He doesn't have a chance to, like, set it up nice and neat. 
So he will lose his advantage, but he will have a clear shot on Snotbow before Snotbow can get up to him. All right, I got, so uh, are we still have music? Oh, the music ended. All right, back to the beginning of the music. I can't always tell if the music's done. There we go. All right, so uh, he went. Uh, next person's turn is Snotbow himself. He's taking his turn. He's climbing up the thing. That was what we decided on. Um, then we have uh, Steve. Steve got exploded, so he was knocked down. Uh, this turn, he's just getting up. Um, next person's turn. We're now it's the Humi's turn. So let's start with the uh, let's start with uh, the sniper taking his shot at Snotbow. Uh, he's at disadvantage at the moment, and that is a four. So with the suppression, just just for everyone's edification, if he'd been able to shoot with advantage, yeah, he would have hit Snot, though, and possibly just killed him. Um, but nope, he missed. Um, and Snotbow is... Uh, what? There'll be a thing that happens on Snotbow's turn. Um, I, yeah, I, all right, well, let's... Hmm, I'm going to try to do... Let's see if Snotbo's thing works. Snotbo had, had a reaction because Edward Rylands put down money on Snotbo having a clever plan for when he got shot at. Let's see if it works. He's got... Nah. Uh, Snotbo basically is trying to climb, and he, like, fumbles with something on his person, and he can't quite get it out. Uh, so he does have a, have a trick. It's, he's just not going to be able to do it this turn. So, he, he wasn't able to get it to work. Not this time. Um, so, that's the sniper. And then we have uh, two more Humies firing. Let's have them shoot. Uh, one miss. I don't have to look at who's... Uh, they're starting to panic now with, with, all, with the orcs kind of tearing their way into the, into the building. Um there's one building that hasn't been cracked open, I don't think. No, no. Snotty has cracked open the other one, and then the first one was cracked open by Orc Among Us. So uh, we got one stunned guy. Yeah, the guy who's basically stunned couldn't quite work his way out, um, and the other guy's panicking. Uh, so they weren't. They basically fire, but even despite being in close quarters and using shotguns, they 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 pull wildly and aren't able to catch the orcs. Or if they did, it was like a couple pellets, uh, when they or they mostly bounced off the orc armor. Um. So yeah, that's that. Now we're top of the list for the orcs. Um, orc among us, he's fighting the guy. I think we'll just have him smash him. Uh, orc among us basically swings his giant chain ball and just mashes. Uh, the Humi that, that, that he broke in and is trying to fight. Uh, next is uh, the Big Chef. He's going to charge over to where Snotius is fighting and try to kill that guy. Uh, he's not able to get there in time because uh, the Big Chef basically was in the same area that um, Orc Among Us was. Uh, so he just, he like couldn't get there in time. He had to like leave that building and then go charge off, but he, he wasn't able to get there. All right, then Snotius himself, he's got the guy that is pinned. Ooh, Snotius, Snotius cr critically fails. So, what is going to happen is Snotius kind of like holds his chain choppa over the guy who's fallen, and the guy um the guy basically, I think what I'm going to do, the guy basically uh, mutters something. Like, Snotties kind of stands over him and gloats. He's like, Get that, Yumi. This belongs to Snotopia. The glory of me. Snotius. The uncrumpable. The unburnable. The un... Hey, what you got there? 
And then the the Humi basically said uh, in a low voice says, "I have but one life to give to the Emperor," and you see him pull the pin on a grenade, um, which then is going to blow up. Okay, um, it kills. It basically it's going to knock Snotius back and and do some damage to him, uh, but he's gonna. He didn't get the worst of it. The shape of the blast and the way the wall fell on him uh, shielded him from the worst of the shrapnel, uh, so he got hit, but like not real bad. So that critical failure could have been worse, but that guy's now. But that guy's now dead. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so Snotius went, uh, we're now at, uh, Dr. Krumpelstein. Um, pretty much the only guy who's left is the, uh, is the, uh, the sniper. So if Krumpelstein wants to go, he's going to take some time. Snots don't get rolls. They're, they're they're too small. They don't. They're not useful to arm. Uh, the sniper's not dead. No. He just he just missed shooting. Uh, he's being suppressed, and he missed shooting. Uh, snot though. Uh, I guess every, everyone can kind of move towards the tower, but no, nobody can really, uh, only Snotbo can really do much. Possibly. Snots can swarm foes, but like they generally, unless they're in the position to do so, they're kind of, they kind of exist to maybe take hits and orcs cannot use them as cover. Like if you're if you're orc sized, you can't use them as cover. Um, anyways, um, let's go. Ahead. Everyone else is moving towards the tower. Let's go ahead and do deal with the drama with Snot Bill. I'm gonna see if his plan works this time. Okay. So Snotbo is like we're gonna we're gonna get into uh, uh, dramatics, and this will be the this will be Edward Ryland's dirty trick. Uh, so the the sniper like looks down and he's like he like spits filthy green skin, and he like moves to pull the trigger, and then Snotius has something that he's been fumbling with. He's like holding on to the 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 ladder with one hand. And he has one hand in like his breast pocket, and he pulls out a mirror right when the last blast goes off, and the intense light is like reflected back at the sniper. So his long last blast just ricochets and hits him back, and then the sniper goes tumbling down off the tower. I think I think that's suitably dumb enough. And so uh, the orcs are victorious. Uh, we lost some guys. Uh, we lost Red Shirt 5. We lost Double D. Um, we got some damage on some of the orcs. But by, we didn't lose that many guys. Um, for uh, Defiria survived. Tree Climber survived. Snotbo survived. Steve survived. Uh, I think it was, was it just Double D and... Uh, no, somebody else died. Somebody else died, didn't they? I think we lost more grots. I think we had lost more. I'd, I'd have to look at what what the, all the list was, but I've been deleting them. That's kind of why I don't have a. I'll figure it out. Uh, Snotbo does grab the long las. You are correct. All right, so guys, we've been going for about an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to let you guys. 
uh, if you guys are up for it, we can do the other one. I kind of want to take a break, A, to give my, my brain a break, B, to go to the bathroom, and C, to get another drink. Uh, my throat's a little dry. Um, so celebrate. Um, if it were if it were ad free, I'd I'd have like victory. Let me see if we can get a uh, royalty free victory music. All right, let's try this. All right, let's loop this. This might end up coming up with an ad, but I'm gonna use the bathroom and uh, go get some uh, go get a drink and chillax. All right. So you guys took Easton. Uh, that one was not the one I'm worried about. The next, the one we're worried about is coming up. All right. Be there in a second. Uh, okay, I lost a lot of people. Uh, give me a second. I want to chill for a moment. I'm eating a little something, too. Hmm. The first time I'm eating on stream? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we can take a, a second. Let me turn down the uh, epic music. A little bit. And let me get up the Discord. Get our Discord link. One second, let me get the Discord link for y'all. I'm gonna put that up. No, no mukbang. <clears throat> so if you haven't been to the Discord, that's a link to it. Anybody who hasn't, please like the stream. We'll be getting the next half of this in a second. Getting some more caffeine in myself.
Okay, I'm feeling better. <clears throat> right, welcome, Timmy the Tech Priest. Yeah, I'm, I'm occasionally on, on the... I've been busy recently. I am I do occasionally pop on the Discord, but there's a lot of people there who are very, very cool. Uh, Zachary Weaver. Is he, he's here, isn't he? He's been here. Was he real? Yeah, he's here. I thought I saw, I just wanted to make sure I did see him there. I saw I mostly see the, uh, but he's the he is the uh, 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 he's top mod there. Yeah, you were here at the start. I was just I wasn't sure if you were still here. Um, brain's a little mush from running the first half of this. <sighs> just give me a second. Okay, I think we're getting ready to start up again. Get some, go back to the royalty-free orc music. Let's see if we got... I really, I kind of want to, I wish I could do the Stringstorm one, which is the Dawn of, Dawn of War 3 music, but I don't. I don't think it matters that much because I'm like if this gets copyright struck, it's not like I make money off people watching the streams. Like mostly make money off of uh, people uh, donating during the streams, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we are now heading over to uh, Mega Humiopolis, and someone had donated so that you guys were setting up an ambush. And so what's going to happen is there is a, uh, a chimera, um, and it is going to roll up towards town. There's, you see, like, the uh, the dirt being kicked up by the treads because the road up to uh, up to Mega Humiopolis is dirt. Uh, you guys leave the gate open, and you guys have all uh, – and let's, let's give a rundown of who we have. Uh, DeBrain is there, uh, but he's working on his secret thing, which I think I've told everyone, I think I said this earlier, his secret surprise is going to show up in this fight. Uh, we got two heads, we have uh, Ostwald, we have Punch and Bag 2, uh, Morpheus, Stressball, Crumplestein's Monster, uh, Crumpy, and Freeloda. All uh, grots that are basically armed with uh, las guns and shooters. Um, we also, for orcs, we have Humius, uh, Orcius two, and Noogie Boy. And Orcius two uh, is sort of the the orc in charge here. He's going to be kind of second in command. Uh, to possibly, if he keeps if he's alive and keeps going, possibly Nob to. Uh, to Snodius. Um, but you guys are getting some cunning. You do still have your reroll for the Blessing of Mork. Um, but yeah, I think we can go ahead and get started. So what What do we... So there... there uh, are you guys... Do you guys want to start firing on the APC, uh, on the Chimera, or did you want to wait until the guys started disembarking? Um, wait, we're late. Uh, someone saying we got one person saying blast from the bits. I think more people are saying wait. So they're going to, um, uh, where so, so the setup for um, Mega Humiopolis is the same. You have your, your. Uh, let me go get the map, because I can actually show you. Um, somewhere there's just Mega Humiopolis. Okay, that's not it. Okay, this is Mega Humiopolis. Oh, can I get the... So we're actually... Uh, 
I'm gonna, it's going to be upside down, but like whatever. So they're coming in. They're coming in like right through here. Um, and then you guys have uh, pretty much all of these towers were kind of destroyed. Um, all of this is fields. And this is like the, where all the buildings are. So unlike uh, Easton, where they had like some buildings right here, and then you guys, ha and then there were, in uh, like some other things, uh, this is like most of these things have been destroyed, um, and you guys would be coming in. They'd be coming in right here. So you guys, are you guys setting up an ambush in the fields over here, or are you setting up an ambush? Are you hoping they come all the way in and are right here? Waiting for them to come into the. I'm gonna turn flip this around. I think I need can, I think I can rearrange this so I, you guys can actually see it. Give me a second. Let me rearrange this a little bit. Let's see if I can tilt this a little. Oh, come on. Did I get it? Yeah, it'll work. You can mostly see it. It's just kind of giving an idea of the way it is. It's just this big circle. All right. Uh, burn the fields and besiege the town. Well, you, you the bad thing about burning things is you guys have uh, seeded all of this ground with spores. You have heavily spored this place, and things are popping up. Uh, different orcoid things are popping up. Mushrooms are popping up. If you burn all of the fields, you are wiping out all of your spores. Um, uh, house fighting near the house in the fields. Um, tanks are good in the open field. Maybe lure them in further. Oh, you don't have time to dam the river. You do not. You you guys were caught off guard. You didn't know that you, you guys left to go attack Easton. You guys don't have time to... They're, they're here. You don't have time to dam the river. House fighting. Digging digging hiding holes. I don't think you guys have time. Let the Chimera uh, roll by and ambush from behind. That's an idea. You might be able to like kind of have it so that uh, you guys are hiding like in the fields. And like as they come past like that, um, you then can come in behind them. That's a possibility. Let an orc get a sneaky thought on how to mobilize a tank. Sorry, I can't. And mob imbabize. <laughs> imbabize. Uh, uh, immobilize um, a tank. Well, well let's have Orcius too. Uh, he can be a thinky guy. Um, he need, he would say you need to attack the tread somehow. And uh, the brain did develop like some bombs, uh, but they you kind of need to get a lucky hit for them to mess up the treads. Uh, so he has like kind of grenades, uh, but you kind of need to get lucky for them to damage the treads. I's gonna I's gonna improvise that tread gate. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, unless from what everyone's, uh, I'm gonna make an executive decision, which is, uh, you guys are gonna let it because it's already been said that you guys are letting it in. I think what we're gonna do is let it get drive up into the town we got orcs hidden we got uh uh orcs are going to be hidden in the tall grass because they're going to want to fight and then we'll have grots positioned in the buildings because they're better shots and they're more cowardly anyway and they're gonna and they're gonna be shooting and and, and suppressing uh the guys once they disembark I'm going to say that's what we're going to do because I think it's going to be too complicated to like back and forth between me and chat of what the whole plan is. Um, so, and, the, and you guys have like um, bombs made by DeBrain that 
uh, potentially could mess up the tracks of the of the thing. So the orcs are. So we're going to wait until they disembark. So they basically get to the edge of the town, and they start disembarking now. So they're all starting to get out of the of the uh, of the APC. Um, and I guess we're going to go ahead and start having the fight start. And the orcs are going to get the first round of fighting. Uh, so we got uh, Debrain is in is in the, the uh, is still in his workshop. Um, and what we'll do is every time Debrain is it's Debrain's turn, we'll roll to see if his machine if his uh, thing is done. So uh, we'll do Debrain last. Um, let's start with the orcs. And we're going to say the orcs all have shooters at this point. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, so what are we doing with... Uh, what is... Uh, top of the order, we got Humius. What is Humius doing? Daka? Are we daka -ing? Full auto Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. All right, Humius is going to go, Whoa! and he's going to he's going to step out step out and open fire onto the guys getting out. Um, and being an orc, uh, he's he's more concerned with making noise than he is properly aiming. So he Daka, 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 and he it it like. Uh, alerts them to your presence, and like the guys start getting out and trying to spread out, so they're not all in one place and look for cover. Um, they're not moving; they're not in cover yet, but they're that's kind of what they're moving to go do. Um, and these guys are wearing uh, uniforms similar to what you guys saw in Big Town, so they're kind of they do have like uh, proper body armor, but a lot of it is kind of festooned in. Uh, late 19th century kind of mid to late 19th century uh, kind of uniform. So very flashy, very uh, you got epaulets and stuff for the commanding officer. Um, nice hats, fancy hats, a little bit like Mordians. They're not quite Mordians, but they're like Mordians. Uh, fancier hats than the Mordians. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're PDF. They're not God guardsmen. All right, so uh, Humius went, he missed. Uh, next orc up is Orcius II. What is Orcius doing? Orcius the second. More DACA. People saying more DACA. If you throw enough DACA at something, it will it will work. Orcius shoots. Uh, Orcius two shoots to. Are we trying to hit people? Or are we trying to suppress? I think most people are saying. I'm going to say Daka. I think more Dakas than it is uh, suppress. All right. Let's see if uh, if the gods is with Orcius today. All right, twelve. So he. Um, yeah, good call, Pavel Marzek. We do have a lot of squigs in this place. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna be a swarm of squigs, uh, showing up. So they're gonna be trying to, uh, trying to swarm them. Uh, so we'll, they'll, they'll be coming out of the, uh, of the thing as well, out of the fields. That's kind of where they're running around chasing things. Um, but yeah, uh, Orcius with his big, with his shooter manages to hit. Let's see if the. Um, I'm just gonna see how bad it is. Ten is dumb. Uh, yeah, he takes out a guy. Uh, Orcius basically guns down one of the dude, one of the uh, Humi, one of the Humi guards, uh, PDF guys, uh, gets gunned down and, and like falls uh, face first onto the onto the ground as they're as he's uh, as everyone's disembarking from uh, the Chimera. Uh, is the music? No, it's still. It's gonna. It's gonna start up the next song soon. This is just the end of one. 
Okay. Uh, next guy, we got Noogie Boy. Is Noogie Boy also Daka-ing, or is he doing something specific? Daka? We're going to open up on uh, a can of Daka on these guys. Daka, Daka, Daka. I think most of you are still saying Daka. More Daka. I think that is, I think the mob has spoken. More Daka! Um, that is a nine. That's going to be uh, just more uh, orcish poor aim. Uh, it's not bad. Like, the guys are, it, we got we got one in, in a volley of, in a volley of fire. That's not bad. Um, and next we have, uh, two heads, two heads and basically all of the, all of the, uh, grots are in barricaded things in, within the houses. The houses were fortified after you guys took it over just by the nature of them being orky buildings. They're still flimsy, but they're not unprotected civilian buildings. Is essentially the way it works. Uh, do we want to try to have uh, two heads keep them suppressed? Uh, Squigs will be coming. I'm gonna. I'm doing it in order. Two heads suppress. Suppression fire. I think this might be okay. So suppression fire. Um, as long as the, as long as he doesn't roll badly, the Humies will have. Okay, he rolls well. Um, he opens up full auto with a las gun and is like spraying the area uh, as the Humies uh, disembark. Okay, uh, next person's turn. Uh, he is uh, looking at the wrong level. Uh, Ostwald. Oswald. What is Oswald doing? Is he just shooting? It's just kind of the nature of, of the of a an ambush. It's just shooting at them, especially at the beginning. Daka daka daka. Daka 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 daka. More daka. Alright, Oswald, show us what you got. Uh Oswald with a fourteen. Let's see how that Humi's doing. Okay, uh, Oswald manages to take down a Humi as well, guns him down. As the, again, they're all spreading out and trying to find cover um, around the, uh, even if it's like using trying to get behind the wheel wells and trying to use the uh, the APC kind of as a, a central area to, to to keep an eye out on things. All right, next one is uh, Punch and Bag Two. Seeing his first his first uh, combat. Is punching bag two gonna throw a rock? That is a suggestion of Eric Rayner. Is punching bag two gonna take on the the roll? Uh, throw, gonna throw a rock? Okay, rock is coming. Yeah, punch and bag died. This is punch and bag two. Punch and bag two is gonna throw a rock. Uh, he hits a Humi. That Humi has a helmet and armor. Uh, he'd have to. He's gonna have to roll really well for it to kind of get through that. Uh, no, he he basically he kind of bonks off of a Humi's helmet. Uh, they have like. They have like they have like fancy hats, but they do have like actual head protection. Yeah, you guys all have helmets at this point. Um, next guy is uh, uh, is going to be Morpheus. Morpheus's turn. We got Morpheus, Stress Ball, Crumplestein's monster, Crumpy, and Freeload is still to go. Is they are firing on these Humies. The 
then we have the squigs, and then we have the brain gets to roll. More suppression fire. Somebody fill Rose Spark in what's happened so far. It's too long for me to explain. Shoot to kill. I'm docking unless... Yeah, you guys want it, Easton. I think DACA is is currently the the answer. Yeah, we're gonna go for DACA. Uh, unfortunately, does not it does not go well for uh, Morpheus. Uh, now we're up to Stress Ball. Uh, stress Ball's turn. DACA, we're just shooting. There's a lot of DACA flying around. You got two Humies killed so far. Shoot to kill. All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna roll. You guys are not shooting great. These guys are. These are also fairly, like, these are new grots and new orcs. These are pretty fresh. So they these are not the, the tested, reliable, experienced army that that uh, Snotius has. These guys are pretty raw. Like, they're familiar with fighting because that's the way greenskins are. But they have not been in the numerous battles that Snotius and his crew have been in. Um, you guys don't have bomb squigs, not yet. Uh, 12 fit in a Chimera. 12 fit in a Chimera plus the driver plus the gunner. So it's 14 dudes. All right. So next one to go. Uh, uh, let's do Krempelstein's Monster. We just, uh, is, there, is there anything you guys want to do other than shoot? Because I can just roll shooting for the last three grots. Do we just want to shoot for the rest of the guys? I got three grots left to go. We can just shoot. You can't honk the Chimera's horn. You're not in it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Talk of this round. Okay, well, well, we'll just shoot. We'll go ahead and shoot and take our shots. This was kind of the point of the ambush, was to start shooting these guys. Um, one gets hit. Let's see if he's down for good. Okay, uh, one Humi's hit. He's not down and out yet. So one wounded Humi. Uh, that's a miss. And then last one. Uh, is going to be a hit. Um, and I'm going to say it just goes to the wounded Humi. I'm, I'm not going to like... So that's three Humis down. Uh, so three guys got killed in the ambush. Um, and you guys have uh, nine left. Uh, plus, so now it's going to be their turn. Uh, so the Humis are su getting suppressed. But they're going to go find cover. They're going to find like rocks and ditches. A bunch of them are, are taking cover around the Chimera, um, and they're going to start returning fire. Um, oh, oh, no, uh, we got to do, before they do that, we got to do the the squigs. Um, they're going to kind of burst out. They're not going to be able to get into melee range yet, uh, but they're going to be charging, you know, teeth chomping and, and hungry. Um, there are, because uh, you guys did take a Pog Chomps pack with you, um, to Easton. So this is like the other half of the pack, which is about like, that's about a dozen uh, squigs. So it's not going to swarm over them and kill them all. Um, and they're not massive. So they're like a danger, but they're, it would kind of take, uh, 
it would it would take some effort for them to like they, they'll do some damage, but they're not going to like just come in in massive numbers and, and overwhelm them. There's like twelve of them, but the they're not huge. They're like they're like basketball sized. All right, so they're coming in, and then we got to roll to see if uh, if the brain is done. Um, yeah, all right, so what's going to happen is you guys hear, like, uh, you guys hear, like, uh, uh, basically we're going to cut inside of the workshop, and DeBrain is, like, working, and he, like, pulls up, like, the, uh, the welder's mask that he was wearing, and he's like, yes, I think I've done it, stinky. You will live again. You will live again. <laughs> and there's like bright lights and stuff. As like you hear like a bunch of and like actuators and pistons going. So something's happening. Uh, whatever he did is is now is now ready to roll. Um, why did that shake? That's weird. Um, so it's, it's going to be up and running on next, their next turn, but it's now the Humi's turn. Um, they're going to start, they have, uh, we got one person who's doing suppressing fire. So I'm going to go ahead and roll, um, cause they spread out. So you can't suppress all of them. Um, but we'll have a couple guys that have minuses. So, so this guy's at disadvantage a five and a 14. So he's going to miss next guy's at disadvantage a 17 and a five. He's going to miss. All right. So we got seven more Humies left to go and they're taking up positions and like trying to, they're, they're now surrounded and they got to start taking shots at things. Okay. Another one misses. They're kind of reacting in a panic to the ambush. Another one misses. That is that is four humies of the nine that are left. Okay, one is shooting, and they're going to hit. They're going to hit. Uh, let me do some counting. Uh, get your maps proper for the next stream. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank you, Pavel. I will get better maps for next time. Uh, anyway, so uh, one guy's hit. It's going to be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, the Grot Morkius is hit, uh, and Morkius is down. He is he is shot and killed by uh, a really lucky shot from uh, from one of the guardsmen. Um, I think we got three more shots left to go. So, oh, somebody got blasted. Um, let's see who it is. Uh, let's take a look. Three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, this one's going on stress ball, and, and stress ball is just, he is obliterated. He got critted. He just got shot right in the head. Um, Pavel Marzek, I'm about to drop. So here uh, for new squigs popping, uh, vote for it after, after fight. There's no voting for it. It's going to going to happen. Um, all right. Thanks for the donations, Pavel. Appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Um, and we will continue to do our stuff. I think we got two more Humies yet left, left to shoot. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's a miss and a miss. Uh, so that's all of the Humies, except now we're going to, um, so here's the thing. 
I got an option uh, because this is the heavy bolter that's on the Chimera. What we can do is we can use the squigs as fodder to kind of be the thing that they're aiming at. Or they're gonna, or they're gonna target uh, guys. Because the heavy bolter, when it goes, it's gonna get a number of attacks, and they're highly lethal attacks. All right, squigs. Use the squigs for. Uh, lost two brats. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, we don't have the heavy bolter. They have the heavy bolter. You're not tar you don't get to target the humies with the heavy bolter when the heavy when the humies have the heavy bolter. So they're going to go uh, firing at the squigs. Uh, it's it starts up and it's basically like and it's just like huge loud explosions. Uh, as it starts to warm up, it's not hitting anything yet. As they're kind of, um, the squigs like start getting fo moving forward, and they're just like, and they're just like exploding in like uh, mists of red as they're just like mowed down. Yeah, and that's gonna that's an eighteen. That's gonna wipe out the squigs. Like uh, to keep the squigs from like charging in uh, the. Uh, the uh, the heavy bolter like mowed them down and is basically pointed in the direction of the orcs. So the squigs were the squigs were down, but guys, uh, that is a very important thing uh, to to have lost instead of named characters because squigs are sort of like snotlings. Um, they are kind of infinite. We don't have specific things, so. No more squigs, but that's basically two more guys that, that might have died. Um, heavy bolter hits on orcs will just kill them. It's it's too much it's just being ripped apart by giant caliber bullets. It, it is it is essentially like, you know, if anybody's seen the conflict in Ukraine, the, the BTGs that are firing 30 millimeter rounds down, like that's kind of the uh, the damage that we're talking about here. Or 70 cal caliber, something like that. Yeah, whatever it is. All right, so uh, once the Hume is gone, what you guys hear is like more... And then suddenly you see... <laughs> bursting out of uh, De Brain's workshop is, as everyone's likely guessed it, there is, an, there is a killer can with like uh, mounted... Uh, big shooter uh, and a grabby claw, and then on t then on top, sitting up on top of the uh, of the killican, uh, is good old Carl, uh, who was killed, who was seriously wounded along with Stinky, and he's basically had his uh, his legs removed, and he's been fused to the top. Of the uh, of the uh, of this killican and essentially turned into a gun servitor. So he has like a bunch of a bunch of like um, get find him uh, equipment latched onto him, and his like his like arm is like a, a another big shooter. <laughs> Whoa! Look at me now! <laughs> now I can stun all these sorts of things. <laughs> daka 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 daka. So, and the brain is like riding up on top, and he has his own, and he has a, a long laz. All right. So now we're going to the now it is time to for more fighting. Uh, we got uh, the killican. What are we doing with the killican? Uh, the killican basically has two. Uh, Daka attacks, and it also has a melee attack. Whereas the uh, Chimera can take a certain number of hits, and it has uh, 
and it has a it has three DACA attacks. Ooh, excuse me. You're gonna charge the charge at the uh, at the Chimera. All right, charging and try to get the. All right, it is. It is. It's going to take a second because it has to run over to the Chimera, which is on the edge of town. And but it but it will. We can start moving towards it. So uh, basically, you see Stinky kind of doing the Killican wobble with like Carl up on mounted up on top as they're as it's moving towards the the Chimera. Uh, do you guys want to still get the, you can still get the shots off if you want. You're not going to be able to reach the Chimera this turn, uh, but you can shoot some stuff. Shoot while moving. Yeah, it's disadvantage, but you'll, there's no reason to not take the, take the DACA. All right. So two disadvantage shots as, um, actually, uh, with, so one of them will be at disadvantage, uh, with Carl shooting, he's going to just be at, at normal because he has advantage because he has, like, uh, get find equipment. So Stinky. Stinky still Stinky's still going to shoot. He's going to get one of the uh, one of the guys. And they're, you guys are shooting heavy caliber stuff, so you, you just kill one of the, the guardsmen. Uh, they are now down to eight guys. Just rakes out and, like, just... Hits one guy and just kind of he falls apart into a bloody pulp. Um, and unfortunately, Carl uh, ends up. So Carl, despite being made into a servitor, um, and like being lobotomized and had most of his brain like messed up, uh, upon going out into the fight and seeing other humans. Uh, the brain basically didn't quite get the parts of the human brain correctly. Uh, so uh, Carl basically malfunctions uh, out of like sheer willpower and like is not going to shoot at the humies. So like he like he's like he's like fighting his implants essentially. Um. So that's that. Uh, the brain can also go. Uh, do you want the brain to try to fix Carl and bring him under uh, under control, or do you want the brain to shoot his long as? He, he's actively fighting it. Uh, give him a bonk. The brain can take his turn to bonk him. I think we're slightly leaning towards. I think people are saying fix Carl. All right, we're going to give it a shot. Um, the brain is going to get advantage because he's smart. Uh, but no, uh, Carl is fighting him. He's trying to, he basically bonks Carl, but Carl is just like, like spazzing out and like refusing to, to fire. So no good on Carl, but you still have, uh, a big shooter that killed somebody, and you're moving towards uh, the APC, the uh, the Chimera, uh, to deal with it. Um, so that's that. That's them. And then we have uh, uh, the brain went, stinking Carl went. Uh, now it's two heads' turn. He's been he's in one of the houses and has been shooting. Uh, he can continue to shoot if he wants. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do the. We we could have the orcs go first if they want to charge. Or I think I think it might make sense for the grots to shoot, and then for the orcs to charge, so that way the grots aren't firing into melee. We'll, we can we can charge the or we'll charge the orcs. Um, let. Um, unless you guys say otherwise, I'm just going to have the Grotz shoot, and um, 
then the orcs will charge. That way we don't have to go through every single guy. Um, all right. Is that is that sound good for you guys? All of the grots shoot and then we charge with the orcs. No, you don't you have three orcs. You have Orceus, Humius, and um what is it? Orceus, Humius, and Noogie Boy. All right. Um You gonna do? Are we, are we doing anything fancy with cover fire? Are we just trying to shoot them. Because if we're doing cover fire, I can have half of the grot suppressed while orcs charge with advantage. Okay. Now that the 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 uh, democracy has been overridden, uh, grots are going to suppress. So all of the humies, uh, not counting the guy in the uh, in the chimera. Uh, is is they're going to be shooting at disadvantage, and the orcs are going to charge. So the orcs are going to be going into melee. Uh, let's go with uh, they're going to they're going to charge on the wall. So we're going to get the yeah the orcs are going to get advantage on this attack. So they're going to shout out whoa, and we're going to have Orcius two be the first one. Uh, and despite his advantage, uh, he's uh, uh, he basically is running. Uh, and he steps on like a slick, like a squig carcass, like that it's, uh, it's, and he just, he like slips and he's not able to like get all the way there. Unfortunately, um, we have Humius. We'll have him go. That's definitely going to hit. Okay. He was able to hit with a 17. Humius gets in there and he has like, I'm going to say it's like a chain fist just to make it interesting. And he like punch it. He like just like grabs one. The the guardsman is like trying to react and like, but he just gets into him and like punches right through his torso. Um, we're now down to seven. And then the other is uh, we have uh, Noogie Boy. Actually, I'm gonna make that Noogie Boy. Noogie Boy has a chain fist, and he's gonna like Noogie the guy to death. Uh, we'll reroll for Humius. So Humius, um, I'm going to say he has a two-handed uh, chain sword. I just think that sounds cool. Let's just have him do that. Uh, when he's not, he like sets aside his shooter and he takes up his chain sword and charges in, kind of Braveheart style. Okay. Okay, there was a 16 and a 1, but the 1 is canceled because he has advantage. And he just goes in and he uh, chops into one of the Humies, and they are now down to six Humies. Um, uh, now it is, so Stinking Carl went, the Orcs all went. Now all of the he remaining Humies are going to have, are going to be suppressed, except for the Chimera itself. So they're going to go ahead and roll. Uh, we got six Humies. That's going to be a note. So that's one Humie. That Humie hits. That's a 19 and 18. So bless this Humie. He got, he got some luck going. Uh, who are we hitting? 11. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11. Orcius, he's aiming for Orcius 2. Uh, and he blasts Orcius 2. Uh, not lethal, but Orcius is wounded. He, he sees that Orcius is kind of leader and he, he manages to shoot at him. Um, Another Humi? Probably not. All right. Uh, that was a 10 and a 12. I'm re-rolling the 10 because I hate 10s. 16, that's going to be uh, – that will be a hit. So that will be a 12 and a 16. Um, another guy's going to hit, and he's going to hit. Uh, uh, this guy's going to shoot two heads. Um, however, two heads has two heads. Let's see. Um, one of two heads, two heads is shot off. Um, and like, he's, he's like kind of messed up because one of his heads controlled one half of his body and the other head controlled the other. So like his head goes, blow, 
and two heads kind of like slumps back. Um, he like falls over because like his left arm and his right head got exploded, and then his left arm and left leg just kind of went limp, as like his body is trying to make up for the fact that he's missing half of his brain power. Um, so two heads got is not dead, but he got shot. And we got two more Humies to go. 17, 18. These Humies are doing really good, disp uh, are, are performing very well under under pressure. And then he's going to shoot at 15. So we're going to say two heads is not dead, but he's out of combat. Um, I'm going to say two heads is is out of combat. Let me put that. He's, he's knocked out. He's knocked out because he's his brain is now messed up. Um, but let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This one's gonna be crumpy. Uh, Crumpy is uh, Crumpy is shot and killed. Is one of the one of the grots. He is shot and killed. Um, and then last Humi. That's going to be a nine. He's not going to be able to make it. Um, I just do it for critical failure chance. And then we have um, the uh, the Chimera. One miss. This the Chimera is mostly shooting at the uh, the cam that's coming at it. Another miss. Another miss. Actually, it's two ten, it's two tens. I've been rerolling tens. I'm gonna I said so I'm gonna do that. I can't just let it go. Stop rolling tens. Okay, that's two misses. Last one. Okay, all misses. Uh, it's firing at uh, the the Killican. And it's in the armor is thick enough that the the heavy bolter is not penetrating, um, and so it, it the chimera's most deadly weapon is kind of wasted, pouring the shots into the killican. Yeah, you guys still have Mork's blessing. Um, so you got six humies left. Uh, we've lost some some guys. All right. Um, it looks like the Humies are going to try. They're going to try to. Uh, the 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 Chimera looks like it's part of the reason it was it was um, it was missing is because it's trying to turn around and get away. So it like it like turns sideways and like starts trying to like load the guys back in because you guys are on kind of two sides of it. So it's kind of turning sideways and low and lowering the hatch so that way the guys can get back in. And it's going to try to like pull and run away. Um, but the guys are not in yet. All right. So we're top of the order. We got the orcs. The orcs are in melee. Do you want the orcs to try to try to disable the, the treads? You have the bombs. We, you could send snots to swarm the treads. Uh, they're not going to be. They will. They will kind of gum them up, sort of. All right. Uh, we can. We can have the orcs try to get bombs to to blow up the. Uh, I'm down to do uh, bombs on the treads, and then also send snots to try to gum up the treads. Let's do that. So the orcs are going to be rolling to gum up the treads, so it can't escape. Um, one bomb goes off. Um, the tread doesn't seem to be disabled. Like he, he like hurls it at the thing. It lands nearby. It blows up. Uh, doesn't do enough damage to, to destroy the tread. Another one is thrown. That one is not enough to to damage the tread. Last one. This one uh, doesn't even it doesn't land close enough. It bounces off the chimera and and is unable to um, 
to stop it. Let's try the the snotlings try to swarm uh, and mash themselves into the treads. Um, they, it makes a lot of mess, but they are unable to do so. Um, the killican, yeah, the killican can now. Uh, we're now at. Go ahead, and we can roll for uh, the shooter. Um, is well. Let's start with the brain. Is the brain still trying to fix Carl? You guys want to re-roll? Did you want to re-roll trying to disable the treads? We're going to try to re-roll to, to damage the treads first. Let's uh, give me give me roll or no re-roll. Let's 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 do re-roll or no re-roll. Let's do that first before we start talking about Carl. Uh, people are talking about wanting the re-roll. Um, I think people are saying re-roll. I think I think the the mob is saying re-roll. So let's go ahead and do a re-roll on uh, one of the. I, I think I'm going to re-roll on the snotlings because I think that's a funnier way to stop the treads. Sorry, guys. Mork is not with you at the moment. Sorry. The dice have spoken. All right. We're going to try to fix... Um, we're going to try to fix Carl. Get him working. The brain is going to go for it. All right. Uh, the brain like uh, increases basically increases power to to the neural suppressor uh, and and then suddenly Carl just goes and is gonna is gonna fire um, you want to target humans or you want to try to uh, they this is a, this could damage the chimera it is a heavy shooter is it a big shooter what are we, what is our, what's our target? Humans or the Chimera? We'll say it's the Chimera. We can probably just... Uh, chimera, two for Humies. Chimera seems to be... All right, aim for the Chimera. So Carl's going to shoot. All right, Carl's going to hit. Um, let's see if it's enough to... It will damage the the. It is damaging the chimera. Let's see if it manages to disable. Uh, not disabled, but it is it is getting damaged. Um, uh, then the then Stinky's going to shoot with his big shooter. Uh, and he's he's like moving and kind of trundling back and forth. But he also has his melee. He's going to be able to get up and and like hack into it with his. Uh, with his grabby, with his grabby arm, uh, he can he can probably rip. He does not need if he hits and is aiming for the treads, he can rip the treads off the the chimera. All right. Oh, I'm so big and stumpy. Oh, look at this thing. Watch what I could do. And basically, Stinky just. Uh, takes the big claw and like rams it into uh, the side of the chimera and rips uh, the treads free on one side. So basically the chimera is stuck spinning in circles. All right. So that's them. Uh, we also have, so that's all of the orcs uh, we have. Do you guys just want to roll shooting for the, for the grots? Grots shoot humies. All right, we'll have the remaining grots shoot the humies. Uh, two heads is out. Oswald shoots, does not hit. Punch and bag two uh, is going to shoot. Let's see if the humie is dead. Uh, the humie is dead, so we're down to five humies. Uh, Krumpelstein's monster. Is going to hit? Does he kill the Humi? The Humi is wounded, but it's not dead. 
So we have three active fighting. We have uh, four Humies. One is is wounded. Three are fighting. Uh, Free Loda is going to shoot. Free Loda is also going to hit. Uh, and he's going to kill a Humie. So we're down to two fighting Humies, uh, one wounded that can still kind of fight, but he's going to be... He, he's, he's a little shook. All right, so that's the round for the Orcs. Um, the... Humies are still going to open up uh, the – it's at point-blank range. Uh, Stinky is going to be taking uh, – It's it, they're going to bank on trying to destroy the Killican. So it's going to be at advantage point-blank range with the uh, – uh, with the heavy bolter trying to destroy the Killican. So uh, there's a one, but it's at advantage. It still misses, but the one is, is, is wiped out. So it's like trying to come to bring to bear on the Killican, but it's kind of a little bit funny off to the side. Um, and there might be like a bit of a jamming in the, in the rotation. Uh, that's a critical 20. Um, okay. And then last one. Also critical 20. All right. So um, it's two critical 20s. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is um, uh, it's going to go. It's, it's basically going to go. You guys already spent Mork's Blessing. You spent Gork and Mork's Blessing. So it's going to, it's it's basically going to uh, rake all the way across. So it gets kind of jammed as the Killican's grabbing it, and then it just goes, and like just shot, 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 and it just slowly starts to rip apart the center until it kind of saws through the Killican. Uh, the brain leaps off the top. Car, uh, Stinky is cut in half. And uh, the kill can is destroyed. All right. And then we have uh, two Humi shooting. Uh, one guy's going to hit. Other guy's going to hit. The wounded guy's at disadvantage. Uh, ten is dumb. He's also going to hit. Uh, we got a lot of guys getting shot up. Uh, the Humies seem to rally when uh, the Killican goes down. Um, I'm going to restart the music. Stinky's gone. Uh, Stinky has had, had. Stinky got critted before. Look, look. Guys, Stinky is great, and it's kind of nice for him to have another last hurrah, but he got critted the last time, and then he got into another fight, and then got double critted. Uh, Stinky, uh, the, the, the Killican did its job. The fact that it's taking out a Chimera, it basically earned its points. You can still do do an you can still draw do an honorary drawing of Stinky. All right, so uh, let's see who's who's shot. I'm gonna use a D10 because I don't think we have that many guys. Uh, let me roll. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Ostwald got shot. Uh, he has a chance to not die. Uh, Ostwald is is taken out, unfortunately. He got blasted as the Humies are making their final their final stand. Um, taken out a bunch of the orc or the the Grots. Um, next next shot is going to um, punch and bag two. See if Punch and Bag 2 is dead or if he's out of... Punch and Bag 2 is also dead. All 
All right, we got crumple, and then we got last one. Oops, wrong thing, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, this is uh, Crumplestein's monster. Crumplestein's monster, see if he ends up being able to survive. Uh, Crumplestein's monster is knocked out, but he is still around. He's not dead. He's out of combat, though. We, we're losing a lot of grots in this one. Um, we still we have the brain. We have two heads has been knocked out of combat. Crumplestein's monster is knocked out of combat. Uh, Freeload is still alive. The only ones we have left are orcs, uh, which makes sense because the orcs are behind the chimera, so it uh, have, they're kind of they were kind of shielded, um, and they're also kind of in the face of the remaining humies. So they're trying to take out what they can before they die. All right, now top of the order, it is uh, we got. Let's go with the orcs first. You got. You only have three humies, and you have the gunner. Um, you guys, the back of the of the chimera is open. Uh, there, the guy's trying to. He's he's basically trying to leave the other guys that are trying to climb in. Um, he's closing it so that, that you guys can't reach him because you guys can get to the the driver's section from the way it's open. Uh, so somebody want to try to get in and kill the gunner in the in the. I'm going to go with, uh, let's try to send the orcs to disable the guys in the chimera. I think that's probably because that, that, that heavy bolter is going to, going to murder you guys. Um, at least until you can get out of its way. Um, so the orcs are going to go in and kill the driver and the, and the well, gunner first. Uh, so we'll start off with, um, we'll start off with Humius. That's an 11. That'll be it. Uh, and he basically gets in there uh, and uh, he has the big two-handed sword. He basically jams it into the gunner uh, who was is, who is killed as the orcs like pile in. And then we have... So he's dead. The gunner is now dead. Now we have the driver... Is Orkius 2 is going to kill the driver. Orkius 2 is not having a great time of this. Uh, he's having trouble squeezing past to get to the driver. Um, and then Noogie Boy also can't quite get to the driver, but the driver can't go anywhere. Um, uh, the remaining... I'm going to turn this down a little bit. We have then the brain. The brain, he's going to take a shot. He's going to line up a shot, and he has advantage because he's it's a good thing, too. Uh, he manages to shoot one of the Humies. He's going to kill the wounded one. Um, so we're down to two Humies. And then we have uh, Free Loda, who's going to take a shot. And he's going to hit, and he kills the other Humie. Uh, there's one Humie on the ground, and then you have the driver, and that's going to be it. Uh, so the Humies are going to go. Uh, the driver is going to pull out a Laz pistol and try to shoot it at the orcs. Uh, he manages to hit. He's going to hit. Uh, orc. He's going to hit uh, Humius. Uh, Humius is wounded, um, and he's not killed. Um, then the uh, the last guy who's who's alive is going to try to shoot. Um, he manages to, sh he's shooting at, he's got either Freeloader or DeBrain. He's going to hit the brain. Uh, the brain is wounded, but not dead. Um, then it's back to the orcs. We're going to finish this off, I think. Orcius 2. Orcius 2. Actually, no, he's not the order. It's that's Humius. Humius is trying to kill the driver. Orcius tries to kill the driver. All right, Orcius finally was like, "Stop that! 
give me that. He like reaches in and like yanks the guy out, and and like, uh, just like like and swings him and slams his head into the side of the chimera and just pulps him. Um, then Noogie Boy is gonna try to take out the last Humi. Uh, he comes out, but the la the last Humi's trying to run, and he like manages to scamper away. He's trying to run. He's trying to flee. Um, I think we have. Let's let's. Uh, he's not going to get away unless you all miss him this this next turn. So I think the brain to finish him off, if that's all right with you guys. Oh, you want to capture the last one? Oh, do you want to call us? Uh, the Squig Hound to run him down. We can have Squig Arlicus. All right, let's see if Squig Arlicus can capture him. If not, I'll have the brain try to snipe him. Uh, tens are dumb. Squig Arlicus to trip him up. All right, so Squig Arlicus does come bounding out after the smoke clears and things are safe. He's not a reckless attack Squig. He's a Squig Hound, and now that there's blood in the... He's able to, like... Uh, tangle up the Humi, uh, drop him, and then start, like, biting at his arm and, like, shaking him uh, to kind of get him separated from his uh, his las gun and starts dragging at him. This allows the orcs to catch up with him and uh, and get him. So it was a lot of... It was a lot of casualties. Almost all of your grots were killed. Only four of them survived. Two of them were knocked out of combat. Uh, we got Debrain... Two heads is now only one head. Uh, his name is now changed to one head. Uh, Krumpelstein's monster is still alive, and Freeload is still alive. Humius, Orcius, and Noogie Boy are all still alive. But a lot of dudes died, including, uh, including Stinky. So uh, with that... Um, Uh, basically we're going, we're, we are going to stop there. I'm, I'm going to add some stuff that's more dramatic, but, uh, when I actually write these sessions, I'm going to split up the battles probably into two different, uh, entries. It's also going to take me a while to write this because I have, uh, the writing competition going on and a bunch of people paid me, uh, to write stuff. So I'm going to deal with that. Um, what new squig did we get? Um, what's a cool squig that we haven't had before? Um, we could have like a beast snag of squig or whatever, whatever they're called. Mm, yeah, so cutting back to Snotius, uh, it's been a, a day of victory, uh, but a day of losses as well. A lot of uh, good green skins uh, bit the big one. Uh, Double D died, um, and we also lost Snoresleepa and Soggy, and we lost another. Who else did we lose? We didn't lose Steve. Steve's still alive. I forgot the other one we lost, but then we lost a ton. We lost a ton of of uh, grots that had just been named, um, and we lost Stinky and we lost the Killican. Uh, we lost. We did lose. That's why we lost Redshirt Five because he was jumping up and down. But as true to his name, the the uh, Trojan truck uh, scheme worked really well. Um, the fight at Mega Humiopolis was much closer. Uh, yeah, Double D is dead. We lost a lot of guys, so F's in chat for the orcs that have died, for the greenskins that have died. Uh, Snotius, like, C is, is now overseeing the capture and subjugation of Easton. Uh, but you guys are in a little bit of a low as far as numbers. We will have some guys be, that are be popping up for next for next session, uh, but 
it's still going to be a low fighting force. You guys lost some experienced guys that time. Um, and Snotty says he contemplates his victory, but also weighs the, the cost of his losses and worries and has some thoughts about maybe expanding his empire a little too fast, faster than he can contain it. Uh, but with more resources comes more power and more Prometheum and more trucks and more stuff that he can claim. So a victory, but at what cost? Uh, was there supposed to be a mutant? No, we had the was, was no mutations. Uh, I'll deal with the mutations. We might have some. I'll look at what what the what the damage is. Uh, we might have some long-standing guys mutate into uh, orklings or orc grots or whatever. Um, I'll take a look at it, but I'm not going to decide it right now. I'm just kind of exhausted. This was a very long session, and I thank everybody who uh, participated. I think everyone who donated, I might have to go back and take a look. Pavel Marzak, I know, donated quite a bit. Edward Rylands donated. Um, and I can't go back that far. That stinks. Um, can I pop out chat and go all... How far back can I go? Uh, they're not letting me go back to where... They're not letting me go back to where things were. Um, I'm trying to remember who all donated. But I, I do appreciate everyone who donated. I did say it when people honk the horns and make embarrassing statues. This this stream was great, no man. See you, no man. Thank you all for being a part of it. Very much appreciate everyone who donated. Uh, I had fun. This was a very intense kind of uh, battle. Uh, and, yeah, much appreciated. And I will see you all. Let's get one last uh, entry for the Discord. If you want to hang out afterwards, I'm probably going to chill for at least a little bit before uh, continuing my day. But thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I think this will be the end of the stream. No man out. <laughs>